everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. I am on board an amazing ship, the Viking Star, and we are on a cruise up to Norway. Uh, it's been a most amazing trip. And the, the ship itself is spectacular. It's beautifully elegant, the decor is very Scandinavian, simple, but um, just wonderfully relaxing and calming. And I wanted to share it with you. Um, this is my favorite pl place in the, in the ship. It's called the Winter Garden. And in the afternoon, they have tea here. It's a beautiful, uh, clear and spacious um, you know, space. And I just love to come and bring a book here and read and, and just reflect on this amazing um, you know, place that we're investigating and exploring. So I wanted to take you on a tour of the ship and share with you some of my favorite places and just give you a sense of this amazing experience and exploration that I'm going through. So here's the Viking Star. This is the beautiful swimming pool and hot tub on the seventh deck of the Viking Star. It's a beautiful space, so airy. The uh, ceiling actually opens uh, during the day and the sun shines in. It's absolutely gorgeous. Lots of seating to relax. This is one of my favorite spots. It's the library area. Books from all over the world, fabulous travel and exploration books. The windows are floor to ceiling, absolutely beautiful overlooking the, um, the vistas as you pass. This is the Explorer Lounge. There's a fire and comfy seats, and the seats actually have uh, fur, uh, faux fur covers on them, so you can snuggle up and stay really warm. And the Explorer Lounge actually uh, continues and opens out to the front of the ship, so you can see as you're going forward. There's a bar, lovely drinks, and a piano where people play, and you just get this beautiful sense of um, discovery and and uh, you know, travel as you move forward. Really gorgeous. Upstairs, you can go to an even more private uh, area where you can read and relax. It's really, really beautiful. I spent a lot of time in this spot. You really get a sense of the, the scale of the boat and, um, and the landscape. The Star Theatre is where a lot of the entertainment was held. Every night there was a port uh, chat so you could learn about where you were going to be going the next day. And also there were lectures on various historical and entertainment topics. The Taurus Haven was a light club where you could dance and listen to music in the, in the evening. Lots of places to just wander and relax and just a sense that you're on a journey. There's a beautiful mural on the wall here. I think it's Oslo and you can see people just doing what you're doing, exploring and discovering. Lots of quiet spots to read, relax, have a drink, and the food was pretty much 24-7. Uh, this is a shot from the first uh, deck, and you're walking up towards the atrium, and on the wall above the stairs, you can see a huge screen with the pictures changed every day, depending on where we were and what the theme of the day was, and it was just gorgeous. And then this is a view from that second level. You can see how their chairs are positioned around the uh, atrium. So you can look down. There was ballet, uh, piano, guitar, and all kinds of other entertainment below. This was a nice area. It was very quiet, an area where you could play games. There are sc uh, Scrabble boards and backgammon, and just really something for everyone. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time on this floor. It was very, very peaceful and you got a real sense of discovery and adventure. Now, again, this is a view from the top level of the atrium. The Viking uh, heritage is very prevalent on the ship, in fact, all the Viking ships. And so this is a small museum that has artifacts from Viking culture, clothing, ships, and other uh, interesting facts. This was a bright area, really lovely, next to the restaurant. And of course, it features their uh, selection of wines which were really nice, so they were all paired to the meals each evening and um, really beautiful selection. There were many places to eat. This is the main restaurant and uh, you could actually choose which side of the boat you uh, wish to view the outside from. You could see um, from both sides the, a totally different perspective. The meals were wonderful. They weren't served, um, you didn't have to sit at the same place every night so you could meet new people. This is the uh, Explorer Lounge where the staff were available to answer questions pretty much 24-7. There um, was always someone on duty and you could get information on the Viking Daily which outlined activities. There was a small internet cafe where you could sit down and uh, print your tickets or you know, just get information on the, um, on the internet if you didn't bring your computer. 
There were some stores, uh, not too many. It wasn't over commercialized, but you could purchase things from the spa. And uh, also, if you wanted, you could actually have a, a manicure, pedicure, pedicure, or have your hair done. They were very well equipped, and the spa itself was beautiful. It had a sauna, steam room, uh, you know, hot tub, really lovely. And I had a massage while I was there. It was really, really great. Also, there was a very nice gym. It was well equipped, lots of um, really nice uh, um, equipment. There was a treadmill, uh, free weights where you could, uh, you know, uh, work out. And also there was a space for yoga, which was really lovely. So again, that view was spectacular, <laughs> encouraged you to work out. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our 60 and Me YouTube channel and also visit our website. We are a strong and dynamic community of women over 60. We're challenging aging stereotypes and every day we share fascinating stories, interesting questions and great conversation.